I want to thank my right honourable friend. And I want to give. I want to. I want to use the last few seconds, Mr. Speaker, to give some words of advice to uh, to my successor, whoever he or she uh, may be. Number one, stay close to the Americans. Stick up for the Ukrainians. Stick up for freedom and democracy everywhere. Cut taxes and deregulate wherever you can to make this the greatest place to live and invest, which it is. I love the Treasury, but remember that if we'd always listened to the Treasury, we wouldn't have built the M25 or the Channel Tunnel. Focus, focus on the road ahead. Focus on the road ahead, but always remember to check the rear view mirror. And remember, remember a bubble. It's not Twitter that counts. It's the people that sent us here. And yes, sir, the, the, the last few years have been the greatest privilege of, of my life. And it's true that I, I helped to get the biggest Tory majority for 40 years and a, a huge realignment in UK politics, Mr Speaker. We've transformed our democracy and restored our national independence, as my right honourable friend says. We've helped, I've helped to get this country through a pandemic and help save another country from barbarism. And frankly, that's enough to be going on with. Mission largely accomplished. For now, I want to thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. I want to thank all the wonderful staff of the House of Commons. I want to thank all my friends and colleagues. I want to to thank my right-wing friend uh, opposite, Mr Speaker. Uh, I want to thank everybody here. And hasta la vista, baby. Thank you. (laughs) 